Right guys, hi. Uh, rare occasion, I'm wearing a shirt. And that is because Aston Martin have invited me really, really kindly, so massive thanks uh, to Aston, to come and have a look at this new Aston Martin DBX. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of videos of this online now, but I'm literally coming to just have a little peek at it and have a little look around and learn alongside you guys. And I just think it's a really, really exciting project. And I think this new market of these uh, uh, sort of sports SUVs like this is just you know growing so so quickly and the numbers are so obvious that is something that is really really um, sort of a good idea for these companies to get into. So Aston Martin have built a whole new sort of facility here in Wales where they're going to be building this car and hopefully selling a lot of them. I don't doubt it because it is absolutely stunning. <laughs> they've tried to keep and they have successfully kept all of the proportions of an Aston Martin. So it's still got that same grill, but everything is just beefed up and made a lot bigger. So it's the biggest grill you've ever seen on an Aston Martin before. Also the biggest badges that have ever been on an Aston Martin. And that's just them trying to keep the proportions right because obviously this is a large car. Now it's actually got a longer wheelbase than a Range Rover. It's quite low for a 4x4 and that sort of is a hint towards how much the car weighs. It's just over two tons, so it's lightest in class, which is really cool. And they've obviously tried to keep all of the design, then being Aston is a, is a top priority for them. You know, you've got like carbon fiber front splitter here, that's an option on the package which is on this press car. But also little things like these daytime running lights not only look awesome, but they're also practical because they're um, a kind of 720S like intake there that sends air around these beautiful 22 inch rims. Uh, you can have another option of rims, but these look really cool in the matte black finish with the red calipers and also steel brakes. So no carbon ceramics on this one, but to be perfectly honest on a 4x4, it's pretty pointless unless you're going to do track, but I really don't think anyone's going to do any track with a car like this. So the air comes through here, turbulent air, and then is let out through another vent which exits here. So you get rid of the turbulent air in the car, which is a really nice touch, and you can actually option this whole triangle here to be finished in carbon fiber as well. The side skirt here is finished in carbon fiber as well as part of the package. And just to show how much effort they've gone into for the design, they've actually disguised the indicators in the rear view mirrors right here. So really nice touch. You've also got the flush door handles so that you don't have these big ugly door handles popping out. So classic Aston Martin, you press it, pops out, pull, and you open these swan doors which point upwards. Really, really nice. This is a prototype, this, so you kind of have to slam the door a little bit um, but on the, on the production cars, they'll actually kind of close by themselves. So that'll be really, really nice. Now this color is beautiful and it also really shows the lines of the car. So one of the things they've done is they put a glass B pillar right here so that when the car's driving and is at speed, it actually looks like all of those windows all mix into one and is a really nice design feature. So shows how much effort they've gone to with the design. This obviously has sort of like a black finish package around. Um, really, really cool. And in the back, it's actually really Vantage-esque. So you've got, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same lights, but it looks pretty much like it. Same lights as the Aston Martin Vantage. And you've also got these beautiful logos, as I said, biggest ever put on an Aston. This one has the carbon fiber diffuser back here with actually carbon fiber exhaust tips as well. Um, now, that does mean that you can't have the easy access where you swipe your foot and the boot opens, um, which you do have in the cars without the carbon fiber. And that shows you the boot, which we'll show you in a little bit. You've got a really nice sort of natural splitter here, which is inbuilt to the boot. And then um, a splitter wing, my bad. And then another double wing up here um, for, for the aerodynamics as well. Now, as I said, the, I'm not really a tall guy, but the car's actually not that uh, tall for 4x4, which is quite cool and really makes it look quite beefy. Um, so I really love the way this car looks. I mean, I know that's subjective. It depends on who you are, but I actually personally think it looks really cool. Now, one of the things they've done with having that really long wheelbase, longer than a Range Rover, is added a lot of rear legroom, more than any competitor. So more space here than in an Urus, for example. And they've upgraded the leather. So the leather is of a higher quality than you have in, in, in past cars from Aston. And you've even got carbon fiber around the inside here. So nice touch with the red stitching as well and the red seat belt, which reminds you that you are in an Aston. Really, really cool, actually. And look, even here, just Alcantara finish all over the place. The way Aston also do their stitching is really nice. You see it more in the front seat, but look, the little details like around here, are just lovely. And then even here, these handles, Alcantara straps, 
such a nice finish and it feels so nice with the full Alcantara headlining which links into this gorgeous massive panoramic sunroof which just adds so much light to the car. So when you're sat back here it's actually a really nice place to be because you've got heated and ventilated seats which are controlled through this screen right here but then also plenty of legroom and plenty of light. So they've done a really good job for whoever will be sat in the back there. Cole if you hop into the passenger side I'm going to show where the magic happens because this car we haven't mentioned yet actually has a twin turbocharged V8. Now the same one that you find in the Aston Martin Vantage and the V8 version of the DB11. So yes, yeah, same engine as in the Vantage and the DB11, 500, just over 540 horsepower, 700 newton meters of torque. So more power than in the Vantage, but obviously it's got more weight to lug around, as we mentioned, just over two tons. And the car is obviously four wheel drive so that you can go off road in it, but you can also have it in two wheel drive and it's most of the time in two wheel drive, just so that the car handles absolutely beautifully. Now inside, it's been sort of completely redone. There are similarities, things that we recognize. This one obviously, as we've mentioned, has that carbon pack. It's got a really nice floating uh, center console right here. So you can put bottles, you can put um, you know, your phone, your wallet, whatever you may want to do. There's also chargers here down under the center console, which is a nice touch and gives you a lot of storage, which obviously in a car like this is much more useful and makes much more sense than in uh, any of the other cars Aston produce. You've got a little nice little opening here. Um, everything feels really nice and it's got a really nice smell as well to it, this car. Um, now, everything obviously is handed over by Daim Daimler. Daimler? 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 <laughs> um, who Aston are in partnership with. So this whole system here, the new sat-nav, is all courtesy of Daimler and it's their brand new system. So it's really, really good, super up to date and just looks really nice. The screen is also really flush and really clear to see from both driver and passenger side, which is quite nice. We haven't really been able to have a proper play with this system yet because we arrived here not too long ago and sort of got filming straight away, but really cool. And you can see all of the little different dynamics of the car when you flick through different modes from sport to comfort through these buttons here, it pops up on the screen up there. You can also raise the ride height or have it so that it's on, on a hill start. Obviously, because this is a bigger car, that will be driven in town a lot. They've also added 360 cameras, really, really useful for a car of this size. And then you've got all sorts of comfort settings for the driving auto start, stop, lane assist, things like that. Touch buttons here, um, really nice for your heated, ventilated seats and any climate control. As you can tell, also very Mercedes inspired the way it's all put there, but that's a good thing because I think Mercedes are making some of the best interiors in the world right now. Now, if I open my door, you can see also the digital dash um, really nice touch, really clear. Basically all cars uh, are going towards the digital dashes now because you have so many more options and so many more things you can do with a digital dash. You can change the displays, have your sat nav information there and it's just much more convenient. The steering wheel is um, exactly the same uh, from what I can tell to uh, what's in the Vantage or DBS or DB11. Really nice, really comfortable, completely finished in leather. Um, and you've got all the, the shortcut buttons that you need right here. Now, these paddles, really nice um, sort of metallic feeling paddles. I'm not sure of the material exactly, but they feel really quality. They're linked to a nine speed double clutch gearbox. So made for cruising and obviously with it being twin turbo, uh, it's also made uh, so that the fuel consumption is not too, too bad. But 540 horsepower, four by four, you're not gonna be competing with a, uh, <laughs> an electric car. Uh, so yeah, anyways, really cool. Carbon even finished on the doors down here. No, they've done a fantastic job. Design-wise, it's just a really nice place to be. And they've managed to find uh, a really good balance between giving you that four by four feel where you feel sort of above any other car on the road and uh, a sort of dominant over any other car on the road, which for a guy that's really short like me actually feels quite nice. But whilst also making you feel quite low down and sporty in the car, it's hard to do to get the mix between those two of those. And I think they've absolutely nailed that, which is really cool. And this car actually has no more body roll than Advantage. So when you go through a corner, it's got the same amount of body roll as Advantage, which is nuts. I mean, I don't know exactly how they've achieved that, but it is absolutely incredible. And last little practical note, come see this, the boot, because it is quite, quite the boot. So you open it through a button here, which I'm obviously, now that I've said that, gonna struggle to find, there you go. So electric tailgate, of course, and this one's actually got the option of having all of the Aston Martin luggage, but quite a large boot here. You know, you can also put 
through buttons here so you can put um, the rear seats down and then it's literally like having a double bed back there. But to have your, um, your luggage here in the back is really nice. They're really selling a lifestyle with this car. You can also lower it so if you have a dog or something you press some buttons there, the whole car will lower so that the dog will get in easier. But Imagine having a dog and having the carbon fiber here, scratching that would be pretty nasty. But yeah, they're trying to sell a whole lifestyle with this car. You know, Aston Martin, classiest uh, car maker on the, on, on the market right now, uh, selling these really nice bags with the car as well. So yeah, I think they've done an absolutely fantastic job with this. Let's go back to the front so we can see how beautiful it is. We've only been allowed a couple of minutes with it, but so, so nice of Aston. The car's literally behind that wall is the launch of the car and this is about to all spin around and launch the car to the world which is really exciting so we had a couple of minutes before um, and it's just been absolutely awesome so massive thank you to Aston and I'm really really excited to see some of these on the road I'm sure there will be plenty I think it's a really exciting market uh, and, and I think they've done a fantastic job with this and I look forward to uh, seeing different specs and things like that of it because I think it's absolutely gorgeous anyways I hope you enjoyed this video we learned together about the DVX showed you around the car and it was really nice and a privilege to be able to have a poke around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are not already. And I will be seeing you again very, very soon. Cheers and bye-bye.